everyone, welcome to Interface, I'm Aradha, and today is a very special episode, not just because we are filming from Malta, where we are attending the Sigma AI, VC and AGS events with the Halborn team, which is why we have Steve in here as well, uh, but also because we have him talk to us about the story behind Halborn, the culture on the inside, while we are filming it together over here. So Steve, tell us a little bit about yourself and um, how did you uh, start Halborn? I started Halborn about two and a half years ago with uh, my co-founder, Rob Benke, and was very involved with cryptocurrency. And Rob had a, a, his own company at the time called Token Agency. Token Agency was a, a marketing and branding uh, you know, company that was consulting other cryptocurrencies on how to get started. And I was inside of uh, the, the Slack channel that he was running following him try to get advice. I didn't know him personally um, until one day Rob decided uh, he was in need of a security focused smart contract hacker. And really there wasn't many of them out there. So I happened to be uh, on the channel. I was like, you know what, let me see if I could try this out and uh, ended up meeting with him, uh, talking with him about it and save the day for the company that was getting hacked. And uh, this happened again. And then this happened again. Eventually, we decided, okay, let's uh, make a business from this, and Halborn was born. We talked a lot about creativity and innovation before, and I was asking you that you were a rock star, Rob is a musician, a lot of us are artists, um, and that does affect the company internally as well, and we feel that even right. in every step of the way, pretty much. So talk to us a little bit about that. How are we the creators of the security world? So Halborn, I feel like is almost like my band in a way where everybody's my bandmate and everybody has a unique skill. Just like in the band, you have the guitar player, you have a drummer, bass player, and you know, they have a unique skill set that makes the whole, uh, si the whole system or the whole band better. You can't do it individually. So we're a team that we rely on each other's skills, just like a band relies on each other to find harmony. Not only just with the people, but you know, with the branding. I mean, I love wearing the shirts, and uh, I, I, you, you always get really nice swag, whether it's like the hats or the backpacks, and yes. I get so excited for that. Yeah, and we truly enjoy what we do, pretty much all of us. Absolutely. Finding our flow of, you know, just all like a conduit. Rob calls it the hacker hole. Yeah. He's like, Steve, are you in your hacker hole again? You don't even know you're in the flow. It's just all yeah. of a sudden, something is going through you, the rest of reality just goes away, yeah. and you're just creating, innovating, you're so focused. Yeah, programmers do this too, like developers can sometimes get their flow. Spoken like a true musician and a hacker. Yes. <laughs> So tell us about the first thing that happens when an employee joins us and what, how does the trajectory build up after? Phase one, when you come in here, you know, we make sure that you are set up for success. Um, if you have a certain skill set that uh, we identify, you know, whether you're coding in Rust or you're good at web application testing, uh, creating content or teaching, all of those things can be used. Yeah, it can be a, a big challenge for a new employee to come in because we're a remote organization that's focused on very complicated uh, disciplines of security and blockchain and putting those together it can make it quite a challenging task to get integrated. I remember us discussing one time that learning is truly in the Halborn DNA. We have a program to make learning at the forefront of everything that we do. The first thing that we have is a technical coordinator that when you first join Halborn, he'll walk you through the process of how we work internally, where the resources are to learn, and make sure that you find your place, uh, whether you want to be an engineer focused on Rust development or smart contract hacking. Uh, we, make, we take your skills or your ambitions and align you to that. Then we have courses that are tailored specifically for blockchain security. One of them is a, a SANS course. The SEC 554 Blockchain Smart Contract Security is one that uh, myself and the colleagues at Halborn wrote. We also have Fuzzing Labs, one of the best courses for advanced security fuzzing on Rust and Golang and Wasm, which are three key protocols that we use. Then, once you've found your success and you've been introduced into the Halborn family, 
Uh, everybody looks forward to getting their own green avatar, which is like a representation of himself. Uh, that avatar is actually drawn by one of my favorite artists called Brute. Um, his name is Aiden Hughes, but he does album artwork for KMFDM, which is uh, you know, some weird industrial band that I listen to. And I used to have their posters on my wall. So you get your headshot and um, it shows like, hey, you're part of this, uh, you know, this, this family, this culture that we're building. Then uh, after a year, it gets to the next phase, which is your one year anniversary mark. And this is where you get your NFT created. How, is, how does that process work? What happens and how did you think about creating this in the first place? Yeah, minting a NFT. This is a, a, a very nice milestone because it has to do with blockchain and, and spirit of everything that we're doing. The NFT is a representation of your avatar. It's part of the Howard NFT contract. So now it's a special gift and a, to you know, a token of significance because it's immutable. It's always going to be there and you can show your friends. Um, it's written to the, to, uh, the Ethereum blockchain. Um, after two years, you get the gold unlock and then the three years still a secret. We haven't uh, yeah. shown that yet, uh, but I have a really good idea for the three year unlock card. I'm just curious as as to you guys, as founders, how important do you really feel company culture is? Because we're doing so many things around it. What's your take on it as a founder, even as we talk of companies in general? Yes, so company culture is one of the priorities for Halborn. The whole reason why it was started by Rob and myself is because I was very unhappy with the culture at the previous companies. There's a lot of like inefficiencies. You know, Some people feel stuck where they are. Uh, you have very smart, intelligent people that are maybe just doing very repetitive work and they're unhappy, they don't care much about their job, and that's not something that I ever want to see happen at Halborn. Uh, so we're taking all of the, you know, the bad qualities from a culture of a company that maybe gets too big to you know, care about uh, the, the people and create a culture that's going to breed uh, individuals that want to continuously learn, continuously want to grow, and um, cultivate that. So you don't want everybody getting bored at Halborn, and it, I don't think anybody does. Yeah, that doesn't happen at all. <laughs> all right, all of that sounds really, really awesome. And I know that we are scaling and hiring massively. Uh, so do you have anything to say to people who are watching us right now on the hiring front? I think one of the things that we have for culture internally as we scale is everybody's found this concept of ikigai. It's one of my favorite uh, concepts. I believe it's a, a Japanese metaphor for a reason for being. Yeah. And it combines four elements of life where if you find something you're good at, something that you can be paid for, something that changes the world, and something that you enjoy. You enjoy yeah. Yeah. And if you could find all four of those, then you've found ikigai. And this is yeah, for myself and many of the people that work at Halborn, it seems we found Ikigai because we are providing values from all four of those pillars.